Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited for this video because I am going to be trying out hair paint wax on my hair. So I have actually used hair paint wax once before in the past and I used the Revolution, I think it was like a hair color paint wax thing. And I tried a purple shade and it really did not turn out great. It didn't transfer great. The whole experience was very bad and messy. So ever since I kind of been like, mm. but I went into Superdrug and I saw in the natural hair section of Superdrug that they now do hair paint wax. So I am so excited to be trying this product today and it is the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast Temporary Hair Makeup Wax in the color Sangria. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this packaging is? Oh, it's just everything. I love the fact that they put a woman with natural hair on the front of the packaging as well. I love the design of this tub. It's just beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. So I'm so excited to try this today. And the color is absolutely beautiful. I love reds. I just love the color. I think red and purple colors are my favorite, especially burgundy. And this is kind of not far off from burgundy. It's a much lighter version of what burgundy would look like. So like I said, I did buy this from Superdrug, which is a UK retailer. I did get it in store instead of online, but you can also get it online. And they do have, I believe, two other shades that you can buy it from. And I did buy this for $6.99, which I think is a good price for a hair paint wax because it's not too much money. It doesn't go over that 10 pounds limit for me. So I do like that I only have to pay about $6.99 for this. And you can also buy it on the ORS website, I think the UK one. So the description of the product, it says that it's a vivid color for up to one week. It defines and elongates curls. It's a quick application. It stays on until washed out with no damage and a low color transfer once dried. So that's a lot of claims, that's a lot of claims. So we're gonna see how many of these claims actually have proved themselves to be correct. <laughs> it does also say that it will provide a medium to firm hold and for a soft touch finish, it does say to apply on damp hair or after adding a small amount of leave-in conditioner, lotion or cream to the hair. And I did also read that I have to apply gloves when I am using this. And I guess because it probably does get everywhere and probably will stain for a, a small amount of time. So I do have some gloves as well that I'm gonna wear while I'm applying this to my hair. I do find it interesting that this does say it's a medium to firm hold because I didn't think that the hair color would have any hold, but this is kind of like a styler and a color in one. So if you like to use maybe one product for your styles, you can use this by itself. I'm gonna see how this feels on one section of hair while I'm applying it. And if I feel like maybe it feels kind of drying or it doesn't feel like it's gonna hold my hair, then I will go in with either a leave-in or a jelly. So I do have my Kinky Curly Not Today natural leave-in slash detangler here, just in case it doesn't feel like it's gonna moisturize my hair very well. And if I feel like my hair is not going to have as much hold while I'm applying it, I will go in with my favorite styling jelly, which is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I do want to mention that this hair paint wax is not curly girl friendly, as it does contain beeswax as the fifth ingredient, I believe. And beeswax is not a curly girl friendly ingredient. And for that very same reason, this is also not vegan friendly. But I feel like ORS in general are not really known as a brand to offer vegan or curly girl friendly products. I feel like there's a very small amounts that they offer that do offer that for people who do like to look for that for their hair products although this does have beeswax it doesn't contain any silicone sulfates parabens those main ingredients that some people like to avoid in their hair products i will also leave a little note somewhere on the screen on the ingredient list of this but the ingredient list doesn't look like the best like the most clean beauty ingredient list but I wasn't really expecting it to be the most natural just because it's a hair paint color wax and hair paint color waxes, you know, you kind of expect to see a few chemicals because it's a hair color. And for anyone who is wondering who would be suitable to use this product, it does suggest anyone with curly textured hair. So wavy, curly, coily, kinky. And also if you have braids and locks, I just feel like because it's a hair 
color wax anyone could really use it but it is specifically marketed for curly hair textures locks and people who wear braids as well so if you are interested in seeing how this hair paint color wax works for me and how it works in my natural hair then just keep on watching this video. I am just gonna quickly saturate my hair with some water. This is just warm water that I have filled inside the bottle because I do like to spray my hair with warm water when I'm styling. And this just kind of helps the absorption of hair products because I do have low porosity hair. I'm just making sure my hair is really saturated because it does say that for a softer look to apply to damp hair or obviously use a leave-in and I don't really want a softer look. I like firm hold for my hair products just because I only do my hair once a week and I don't really refresh much. I don't really like refreshing. So for that reason, I try to make sure that I'm using the right techniques and the right products for my hair so that my hair can last the majority of the week at least. And then usually for the last few days, I will just, I don't know, wing it, I guess. So this has a very interesting smell. It kind of reminds me of I'm not even gonna lie to you, it smells like an air freshener that you would use in a room or like a cleaning product. It's a very clean smell, clean and fresh, but I feel like it's a bit of a weird smell for a hair product, at least like a curly hair product. I feel like most curly hair products have that tropical coconut, mango, you know, just like very sweet tropical scent. But this does not smell sweet or tropical it just smells very clean but it's still pleasant it just makes me want to clean when i smell this so i'm gonna start with oh okay i'm gonna start with this much the consistency of this is pretty thick it's creamy i feel like it's really hard for me to describe the consistency when i'm wearing gloves because it can feel different um, it can feel like there's something protecting what I can actually feel, if that makes sense. But it does feel really creamy and rich. And the colour is absolutely beautiful. I love this colour. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> wow. If I look down here, it's because I'm looking at the mirror because it's kind of hard to see everything in the camera and I don't want to miss any bits of hair out. It's also gliding really nicely through my hair. I mean, I don't know if that's because I'm wearing gloves and it kind of just helps with slip, but it just feels really nice. Also, this is defining my curls. Yeah, I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but this is really defining my curls, which I was not expecting. I'm going to go in for a little bit more just because I've missed a little section at the back and I wanna make sure that every curl gets this hair color. So I am just gonna fast forward the rest of the application process because I have already showed one section of hair. So I'm just gonna speed through me applying the rest of this and then I will come back to you guys.
have applied all of the hair paint color wax and I am now just gonna let my hair dry for the rest of the day. Because this is a hair paint color wax and not just me styling my hair as usual, I don't know how long this is gonna take to fully dry. So for that reason, if I feel like after a few hours, my hair is nowhere near dry, I will go in with a diffuser. But because my hair is really, really defined and I don't wanna mess it up or make it frizzy or anything, I am gonna do it on a cooler heat or I will just sit by a fan and let my hair dry that way. But so far, I'm impressed. I am really, really, really impressed. I didn't think that it would transfer this well because my hair is quite dark. I'm pretty sure this does say that, yeah, so it says color results may vary and I guess it varies depending on the color of your hair as well. So I wasn't sure if because my hair was a darker color that it would transfer so well. I've used like the, I've only used this side, but I probably used less than half of it. I kind of was quite generous with it, but I feel like I didn't really need to be just because of the fact that it really does go well onto my hair when I'm applying it. Another thing, the definition that this color wax gave me was not expecting it, was not expecting it at all. Obviously, once my hair's dry, things may change, but this does say that it will give me a medium to firm hold. And I didn't go in with my leave-in conditioner in the end, nor did I go in with my curl maker. I just used this for like a one product wash and go. So I'm very interested to see what the hold is gonna be like when my hair's completely dry. Obviously I have gloves on, so I don't really know what my hair actually feels like because I haven't touched my hair with my hands yet. So I don't know if my hair does feel like it's quite heavy because it does have beeswax as one of the main focus ingredients. Now I'm just going to let my hair dry and I will come back to give you guys my final outcome. Okay guys, so I am back. This is day two. So basically the next day of me wearing this hair color in my hair as a wash and go and I am very, very impressed. I feel like I don't really have many bad things to say about this. So let's just jump straight into the claims of this product and if I feel like I agree or disagree with them. So one of the claims was that it will define and elongate your curls. And I will say that this is partly true. I don't really feel like it done much elongating. My curls still shrunk a lot. On the other hand though, it definitely defines my hair. My hair is really clumped, which is amazing considering I only used one hair product. I didn't even go in with my leave-in or my gel in the end. It used just this product alone. So I am really happy with how well it defined my curls. In the description of this hair wax, it does also say that it is a moisturizing beeswax. I don't really feel now that my hair is dry, that my hair is the most moisturized. I would say that once some of the cast has been scrunched out, I can feel my hair softening up, but I wouldn't say that I feel any sort of moisture in my hair. But I wasn't really expecting my hair to be the most moisturized because beeswax I feel like is a very heavy ingredient. And because my hair is low porosity, I wasn't really expecting my hair to completely absorb all of the ingredients in this hair color wax because beeswax is so heavy and it can weigh down hair, especially low porosity and finer hair. As for the hold that it does claim to have, this does say that it has a medium to firm hold. And honestly, I feel like this has a firm to extra firm hold. My hair, when I took it out the bonnet this morning, it was stiff. It was a type of crunch where just touching my hair felt fragile. So I had to be really careful when I was scrunching my hair. But I will say that that's my fault because I feel like I was super generous with this hair color. As for the claim about it lasting for up to a week, I obviously won't be able to tell at this very moment in time because this is the second day that I am seeing how my hair is with this. I will be installing some clips and photos in this video to show you updates on each day of this week and how well my hair held up with this hair color. did also end up completely air drying. My hair was still damp in the middle sections when I was going to sleep last night. So I do have a little bit of color residue in my satin bonnet, but I kind of expected that because my hair wasn't completely dry when I did go to bed last night. I'm also really happy with how vibrant this color turned out. I was a bit skeptical about the hair color because 
My hair naturally is more of a darker, more medium brown. So I wasn't sure how this color was gonna turn up on my hair once my hair was dry. And I did find out that on the Superdrug website, they do the color golden brown as well as the sangria. So if you didn't wanna try this color, but you wanted to try another one, they do also have that available on their website. They do also have more colors available on the ORS website, but I think it is the US website. They also have a really cool app where you can actually try out all of the colors and see how it would look on you, which I think is pretty cool because you can see how it would look on you before you purchase it but I did look at the shipping and I think it's only available to people who live in the US so if you don't live in the US I don't think you'd be able to buy it but if you do live maybe within the UK then you can purchase it from Superdrug. Overall I really enjoyed my experience using the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast Hair Color Wax and I would highly recommend it to you guys. It is super affordable. You also get a really nice amount of product and a little bit does go a long way, even though I did add quite a generous amount. There really is no reason to why you can't try it. Other than if you are following the Curly Girl Method or if you're looking for vegan products, it's probably not the best for that because of the added beeswax. But if you do want to play around with colors, but you don't want the commitment of a permanent color, I would highly suggest trying this color wax from the ORS Curls Unleashed line. I also love that it is available in Superdrug now. I feel like Superdrug are really upping their game when it comes to adding natural hair and curly hair products. So I'm really happy about that. And they is available in store to buy as well as online. So we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what you think of these results. And if you would try the ORS Cars Unleashed Color Blast Hair Wax. If you enjoyed this video, also make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you can see more content from me in the future and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.